So, Dev here, and today uh, I'm going to talk a bit more tech stuff. So, I've been looking for dash cam lately because, you know, I just wanted to start recording stuff that happened on my way to work because it's a uh, one hour each way for my commute. And recently I've been just using this, my LightDAO LD6000. Um, this is a pretty decent camera. It's, um, the quality of it reminds me a lot of like the SJ4000 camera and it's actually like a really decent camera. Um, I'm not sure if I put out a review on this yet but yeah it is a very nice camera. It's only around 30 bucks so it's relatively inexpensive and I feel like you get good value for that $30 with this camera. Except for the sound, it's kind of crappy, but uh, that's here and right there. The video quality is really decent on this, though. But I've been using this, and um, actually, you know, I actually put this in before I drive and take it down and stuff like that. So it's, you know, it's a minor inconvenience for me to put in the window when I drive. So I was thinking, let me just get an actual dash cam. So that's when I came across this on eBay. Yeah, I guess this thing is called the B38. Um, uh, yeah, I found it on eBay for around $20. It was you know, mini car DVR, but let's open this box up and see what we got. So we got the power cable here. That's a really long power cable with a mini USB right here. <coughs> Kind of outdated, but you know, whatever. I don't mind. And then here's the actual unit. Um, if you look around this unit, there's actually no buttons. There's just that slot for the micro uh, SD card and that um, mini USB port where you plug in the power. Um, where you plug in the power, um, the lens, and pretty much that's it. And then what else is in here? It's the manual, which, yeah, just gives you some info on this actual camera. Uh, it's nice because they give you more than one language in English. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so this thing, um, what it was listed as, it was a car DVR with Wi-Fi enabled. So this thing does connect to Wi-Fi, and you will have to have an actual app to um, see it. So the app is Go Plus Cam, which you can see right there. Uh, so let me actually power on this camera. Uh, so it sits like this. So I have a USB cable plugged into this and I will plug it in and it should power on and you'll see it start blinking and that means it's recording which is nice because it has no buttons or anything on it so really just set and forget it uh, which is cool. This does one minute video loops so it'll record one minute and the next video will start shooting and it kind of overlaps. One thing that kind of sucks about this is when you do power it off uh, if it's in the middle of recording something if it's in the middle of recording an actual video it'll corrupt that file because you know they're there isn't any buttons on it for you to stop the recording or like, you know, save it before you actually power it off, which kind of sucks, but you know, that's the way it is. You can always use the app and actually like control all that, but I rather have this as a standalone unit. But the function of this thing is it also has Wi-Fi, so you can see right here. So, it is connected now and we can just go to the app which is go cam go plus cam and tap and it should connect there we go and you can see 
it connects to Wi-Fi and uh, so the default for the camera is one minute loops as I said before but there are actual settings in here too so you can actually tweak them and it has a G sensor so you can set that if you want to the resolution of the camera stuff like that you know which is cool very cool and yeah um, and you can actually record through this app also which right here so it's recording at the moment and yeah and it'll actually save to the actual device so yeah you can see and then you can actually tap and then actually do playback and you can download it to the actual um, cell phone which is very cool but yeah this does it does work as a standalone system also which yeah which is very cool that's why that was kind of the reason why I bought it I wanted it to be a standalone device pretty much leave it there in the window and just forget about it pretty much um, so let's go see how this performs in the car so I have it in my car and I'm gonna mount it and I actually have the app running right now so you can see that um, I can aim it correctly it does come with this supply piece of um, double-sided tape it say it's 3m but not too sure that it's actually 3m tape uh, so let's remove that and let's try to stick this uh, so I'm gonna try to stick it up in so I'm skipping all that I think that's good I don't think it's going anywhere you can mess around with it hopefully the heat doesn't melt it off um, so here goes the actual app the go plus cam app uh, you can see whatever the camera is seeing and uh, yeah the reason I wanted this one was it's very it, you can tuck it away and it's uh, discreet so if you actually step out you can barely see it and that there goes the camera if you can actually see it right there um, so let's go drive around and see how it does So, my final thoughts on this camera, uh, it's not the best camera that I can see, but it definitely isn't the worst camera. Like, 
a lot of dash cams that I've bought before, they were priced below what this camera was, which is 20 bucks, and they were kind of crap. This one is relatively decent from what I can see. It for 20 bucks, I don't feel like I can really complain for what type of quality it has. Uh, but yeah, I feel what I bought this camera for, which is to record video and sort of have sort of like a black box for my car, just to capture, you know, any action going on. Um, I feel like it's good enough to do that job, and I feel like, um, yeah, it's, it's good enough for what I want it for, so that pretty much sums it up for this video, so yeah, thanks for watching.